John O'Keefe uh, is is hanging out here. Uh, no relation, even though a lot of people like to put the O on my name as well. Um, and uh, we're going to chat uh, on a technologically impaired Google Plus Hangout uh, about the uh, forthcoming book, The Church Creative. Uh, the idea behind the book is, is how do you become a creative gathering? How do you become a church that is actually um, fostering and inviting creativity amongst its people? Um, one of the things that I found in my, in my, in my reading on creativity is that many people are calling the church lethargic. Um, the Baptists are, the Nazarenes are. I mean, there's a lot of people that are looking at churches and saying that they're pretty lethargic. And how do we get? How do we break that? How do we invite people with creativity um, to be creative? To 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 invite them to use their creativity. Uh, and this is a book that sort of sort of approaches the the how to of that. I mean, creativity is not just painting pictures and marketing the church. Creativity, I think, is really this voice inside each and every one of us that says, I want to be able to express this awesome, amazing story, this awesome, amazing digital narrative of who Christ is in my life. And I want to share that with others um, in a way that they can understand it. Using thought and, 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 and principles of the 1950s isn't going to appeal or isn't going to allow or invite, which is a better word. I don't think allow is a good word. I think invite is a better word. Is not going to invite a 21st century mind to hear what you have to say. You know, um, it's this idea that says... To, to, to speak to the 21st century mind, you need to use 21st century words, ideas, principles. Um, and I think that one of the big things in the 21st century is creativity. And so um, I, I imagine I, I have a, a, a hunch or a notion of how you'll respond to this, but, but uh, humor me here. Let's say that uh, we're going to bring into this conversation uh, one of the patriarchs or uh, so, uh, the, the priest at an, uh, a Catholic church or, or maybe more particularly an Eastern Orthodox church in which service and liturgy has been done the same way for years and years and years and it may actually be recognizable to someone from centuries ago. Um, I can't imagine that you would tell them they're doing it wrong, but I wonder what you would say to that person. Oh, <clears throat> what I would say to them is, A, they're, they're not doing it wrong. They're, they're doing it to meet who they want to meet. Um, but when you have a large portion of the, of the community around you not coming because they don't understand it, then maybe it's time to rethink it. You know, or or offer something else. In other words, if you're a, a church, a, let's say you're an, orth an Orthodox church where you have your liturgies, um, and you you sit back and say, okay, well we're going to still do this at nine o'clock on Sunday mornings, but maybe offer something during the week that's a little that's not a little bit more, but that's extremely creative and extremely different and extremely um, designed in a way to reach the people that you want to reach. Um, you know, the, the, the idea of, you know, my church has been doing this for thousands and thousands of years, and, you know, it's worked for thousands and thousands of years in the past, I think is sort of a misnomer because it hasn't. You know, I mean, we, we may think it does, but if it, if it really worked, if the liturgies really worked, then I think people would be lining up outside your doors. What do you suppose, or, or do you maybe you propose in the book, is the greatest barrier or obstacle keeping congregations from wanting to be creative uh, and flexible? Uh, I think the biggest barrier is change. I, I think that, that everybody fears change. I mean, there's a whole chapter on, on change. It's, uh, I, and I, I had to steal the line from David Bowie, uh, but it's change. Turn and face the strain. You know, we, we, we fear this, this idea that change is going to somehow destroy us. Um, but the reality is we, we, we don't fear change. We fear the loss of what's comfortable for us. But if we... we history is showing us that doing the exact same thing the exact same way 
all the time is not working for the church. There really needs to be a new way of doing it. Even the contemporary church is not really creative at, at all. I mean, you know, it has a, a great worship service, and the band's great, and then the fog machine kicks in. Woo! You feel like you're at a Lady Gaga concert. Um, but it's really not talking to the people that it needs to talk to. You know? All right, well, so here's, here's something uh, that, I, that I hear a lot or that is, is uh, kind of put to me uh, in this context of creativity, and I wonder what your response is. It's, and it's something like this. Hey, man, if you keep championing creativity, 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 at some point in time, aren't you just going to end up with a new form, a self-loving, self-desiring, advertising, marketing congregation with a thin veneer of authentic or orthodox Christianity? What's to prevent that from happening? Oh, us. I mean, I mean th just the idea that that, that question is asked um, should, should give us the idea that that's something that we don't want to have happen. Uh, I'm not in any way, shape, or form um, advocating that we become this you know, uh, kitschy little church with this, you know, great marketing program. I I'm talking about really allowing those people within the congregation to, to, to experience life in a new way. This book really just says, how do you, as a leader in your church, as a, as a member of your congregation, as a member of your gathering, how do you invite those people into your gathering that are creative, that are um, willing to, 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 to reimagine what it means to be the church today. Uh, if, if Jesus was crucified today and, and we didn't have the church in the past, but we have all of a sudden the Christian church today, what would that church look like? How would that church form around that important event of the crucifixion. Um, and I think that that's where it is. As is, is far as becoming a marketing, gimmicky uh, church, I, I think just asking that question causes us to say, that's not where we want to go. Uh, and that's not where I want to go by any stretch of the imagination. So, so in, in, in many ways, what this, this conversation is for you is a, a form of evangelism. How do we connect with those we're not connected to, particularly those whose minds have been shaped by the media of the 21st century? Oh, I, I think evangelism is extremely important. Um, I think one of the, the misnomers that people have about the progressive church or the, the liberal church or the emerging church or whatever tag we want to tag it with um, is that we don't want to go out and share the gospel. We do. We, we, we want to share it strongly because it affects our lives in so deep a way um, that we want to share that with, with other people. Um, but when somebody comes to me and says, you know, why do you follow Jesus? Or why, do, why should I follow Jesus? I can't answer that because I can only answer why I follow Jesus. And then hopefully they'll understand that. They'll connect to my story and then we can have a conversation and, and, and hopefully they'll understand who Christ is. Um, but I think we, 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 we downplay evangelism in the church because we don't want it to be a church growth movement. And we don't want anything that we do to become church growth movement. Um, and this is not a church growth movement. This is not a pro Creativity is, a, is a really a, way of, a different way of thinking. But it's a way of thinking that will allow others to ask questions and to ask the what ifs and, and to really kind of allow them to experience Christ in their life um, through your words and through images that surround them. You know, um, But I think evangelism is important. I think sharing the gospel is important. I think you know, sharing with people who Christ is is important. Um, but we need different tools to do that today. We, we need to really open up our creativity and really kind of look at different possibilities and reimagine how we can do that.